and um, go die. First, you're going to need to bring up blank app right here. If you can't find it, just go to scroll down to UWP and C sharp. Oh, that's C sharp right here. And it should be right here. And then you just go and make your game. Bring up blank app and blank app UWP C sharp. Now you're gonna need Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. And with Visual with Visual Visual Studio Code, let me bring this up. You got you got download Mono Debug C sharp and go dot tools and then after that you gotta go and set up a go dot uh, a go dot um and you gotta set up a go dot um a go dot game what you, what you do is you at you you start up go dot and Start it as a new game, and then you take, and then after it's done start up, you take the, you empty all the Godot files to your Visual Studio app. Now it's got to be two separate folders, so. What I did was now I'm going to open it on the desktop. It's not that difficult. All you gotta do is just now it won't you won't you can't have like the same on the same two files with the same name on the same fold on the same uh, folder. So the best thing to do is to have it in different folders. Now all my all my projects are on my flash drive. So all I gotta do is just open, just set this up on my on my uh, on my um, desktop. So in order to do that, go to the desktop and then This select the current folder, create native. Okay, now we're gonna close this. Next. folder right here oh yeah while I do this I have to go to we get package manager now there's two you're gonna need since Xbox you're gonna need a Xbox controller and for networking, it's much easier to use Xbox Live. So, here's two things you're gonna need when you're making a, an Xbox Live game for the Xbox. One is is um, a creators. Now you can use 
an indie developer thing, but it takes a long time and you gotta have proof that you're actually making it. Or you can use the Xbox Live Creators Club. You use Creators Club, this is what you need to do here. Just go to Xbox, and then you're gonna need Xbox Live SDK WinRT UWP. This one right here. Remember, it's this one. And then you're gonna need Sharp DX. Why? Because you're gonna need because you're gonna need um because you're gonna need an Xbox controller. And the only way you get an Xbox controller is direct X and K. So instead, we're going to use Sharp DX for the Xbox controller. Bring this up. Clear this out. Sharp DX. Okay, while this is setting up, I'll put a link in, I'll put a link on the screen for, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's on, uh, it's on this, it's on the description, it's a, it's a tutorial done by another person. He'll show you how to put all of your stuff, he'll, 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 see, he'll, he'll show you how to put everything together. Set up uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, set up the dot tools and well, it's right here. I think his name is Gaming from Scratch. Right here. Let me set this up here. Okay, now you gotta put this on the first uh, on the first uh, folder right here. Call this here. Don't delete this because you're gonna need it, especially this asset because this is where you're gonna put all of your files, like your models, textures, and stuff. Well, the whole point is you take the you take these and you copy and you just move it to this to this folder right here, your um, game folder. So you got Sharp DX set up here. It's, it's got to be just sharp PX. Okay, 
close it. Now, with the one I already got set up, Select all your files in your Godot folder. All of them. Every last bit. And then you just long to your game file. Right here. First, you're gonna need this. You're gonna need this namespace right here. Go so that. And then you take. I'm gonna say. While this. While I wait for this. These are the three you will need. Godot Tools, C Sharp, and Mono Debug. These are the three you will need. This right here. Bear scene equals gd dot load text scene and then all this. This will load this will load your own um, this will load your file. Now you got Use this and this, and it should start your um. It should start your game. Just put your scene right here. Well, that's all I got for now. If you like my stuff, make sure you go to my website, Gary Tobin. GaryTurbo.me See you later.